A quick shout out to our sponsors, Higher Mental Power TV. talking about, oh, you know, black people don't have our own media. Why are we so underrepresented or misrepresented in the media? This brother here and his team have put out fantastic content that reflects the kind of things that, you know, you won't see on BBC or Sky and so on and so forth. So thank you everyone for attending our four. This mic is loud, you know, brother. Yes, yes. Yeah, our fourth Naked Truth. Like I said before, it's going to get real busy, real packed in here. And um, yeah, today's going to be fireworks, you know. Someone told me the other day, our acronym is TNT. I was like, jeez, explosive. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to have some real uncut conversations, you know. We're not here to push people around. We're not here to unpack that problem. We're here to look at solutions and really give you guys an experience, you know. My name is the Five Star General. <laughs> yeah, you can find me at um, Love is Just a Verb on all social media and myself and my fantastic team over here. You can introduce yourselves. Hi everyone, my name is Rochelle, aka Rochelle. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle. I'm Rich. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we really need that. Michelle, aka Michi Boo, people me. Uh, welcome everyone, and I hope you all enjoy yourself. We're not an organisation that is popped up overnight. We've been here for about five years in the making. Normally, we work with young people in the community. You know, we really sit down with them and talk about relationships. You know, and we go in with the young people. And for those that know us, know that we don't pull up punches. We're not youth workers. We're just people that care. And we're very unapologetic in the way we explain things and the way we share experiences. But, but what was happening, a lot of the times we were speaking with the young people about relationships, it was always going back to the house. And their mum and their dad had issues. Yo, keep the voice down, please. Yeah, so we decided to say, okay, let's do something for the older generation, you know? Let's do something, not only for the older generation where so it wasn't only just for um, you know the old generation, but we wanted to hold it in a wine bar setting because we didn't want to speak to those who were already converted. You know, we wanted to be able to attract the right type of person, our one kid. You know, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining who we are and our history, but you can ask questions for us. Uh, uh, Give it up for JJ. I didn't want you to cut my tune though. Oh, 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 our second host, the amazing, beautiful, talented Peaches! <laughs> Because they're family, they're working hard, and I back what 
what they do. And when they said, let's get naked, I was like, well, you know me. <laughs> I'm like, let's get naked in it. Because we want to go to that core. Right, deep, deep with deep it. Deep, yeah, deep with it. Layers. Layers. layers, layers, drift the layers, Come on. and we want solutions. So pick up the late comments. You're not late, you're on time. You're on time. So people, what I'd like you to do before we even start, I'd like you to put your hands together. I would like you to say, yeah, thank, 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 thank everything that I'm alive in it. I'm alive, I've got breath. Some people did not wake up this morning to see that we are out of the EU. Yeah, yeah. So people, <laughs> put your hands together. Yeah, yeah. We're still celebrating life, you know. We're still celebrating life for me, definitely. And more importantly, I want you to look to your brother or sister who's sitting next to you, yeah? And I want you to say hi. Yeah? Hi. Hi. Build a relationship, build a connection. Yeah? All right, simple things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know what, Pete? It's always important that we we set the president. The so, house rules. House rules. House rules. I know it's simple, it's, it's common sense, but you know, we don't want the phone to be going off when we're getting naked. It's like, you know, you, you're in the bedroom with a woman and, jeez, why are you ringing that? You know what I mean? Put your phones aside, a piece, guys. Yeah? Phones aside, that's the first house rule that we want everyone to be comfortable with. Yeah, what's, what's the other house rule? One of the main house rules that um, we definitely, as the Naked Truth, we live by, yeah, is speak in the eye. Yeah, tonight's about us being naked, yeah, so we don't want to talk about, well, I think people and, you know, they always, none of that. My experience, you feel me? I can only say, or well, when I was, Everyone get my drift, right? Mm -hmm. want to speak, if you start talking in a wee, you might see me and Peaches like switch off like, mm. you know what I mean? Or we might say, like, you know, bring it to you because we can't learn from the, the we. We all know who we are, right? But if you're going to be naked, you're going to share from your experiences. Everyone cool with that? Yeah. I... Ooh, yeah. What else? What else? Is there another rule? Yeah, there's so many rules, but we're going to keep it to the main ones. All right, well, let me just... Yeah, go Just edge in. All right. The few men that are here. For now, for now. Hold on, hold on, listen. I don't know because there's not many men in the world already. Yeah? yeah? So the few oh men... <laughs> Serious, we've got to keep it real, innit? So um, the few men that are here, yeah? Please know you are safe. Yeah. You are here to be I'm embraced. Yeah. Yeah. You feel know me? You are here, we want to hear your voices. Yeah. You feel me? We would like to see you engage. If a woman is talking too much, because we know some of us do like to talk a bit you know, mm -hmm. don't worry, they will be silenced respectfully, so we make sure we hear your voice. Because respect is a two way street, isn't it? Most definitely. So, respect and men will say. <laughs> We're safe, man. Them. I'm repping you, five stars repping you, and I don't want to be the person who's speaking because remember, we don't have the answers. We're just going to put out stuff and we want everyone to be, you know. And it's not a man versus female oh, together. Oh, definitely not. It's definitely not that. Not. Yeah? We're about working together. Yeah? yeah? So that's it. Now, nah, one more. So challenge the issue, not the person. Because there's going to be certain things that's going to make you say, What? How dare you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't make it personal about that person. They're sharing their reality. The issue is what you want to address. Mm -hmm. And we all right to do that. Yeah. If I sit here, if we hear anyone going at someone, we might interject, you know what I mean? We might get tech away from you, you know what I mean? Because it's not about making it about right or wrong, it's about the issue. So we're all good with that? It's, it's definitely about that. Definitely about the issue. So, it's only right with the introduction, the house rules done, yeah? It's only right we play a little icebreaker. Yeah, let's break Word that. association, yeah, let's break the ice. Shall we break the ice? Yeah. Shall we break the ice? Yeah. Shall we break the ice? Yeah. Okay, let me quick question, quick question. Who voted? Who voted? Show your hands. Show your hands. <laughs> who voted in? I voted in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What did you do? Did you vote? Who voted out? Everyone that didn't put their hand up. No, but <laughs> some people didn't vote. No, some people didn't vote. Yeah, exactly. So you're out of it. No, 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 no. But some people voted out yeah. and they put their hands up. Yeah. Some people voted in, they yeah. put their hands up. Yeah, yeah. And some people never voted at all. Who didn't vote at all? Proud, very proud. <laughs> that's a lot. Very that's a proud. Lot. That's how we do it. It's yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's a whole number topic. We're never going to do it. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? We're out of making truth. Yeah. Let's keep it naked. We're keeping it naked, innit? All right. So, 
As you know, it's about relationships, so we're going to have an icebreaker, which is all about relationships. So it's word association. Yeah. Okay, so for example, yeah, let me just have a look because last night me and Rio was like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, we was reasoning on the phone and I was like, let's try this game. So if I say sex, you say? Commitment. He gave his answer, leave it, yeah? <laughs> right, cool. So um, we're gonna throw out some words out there and we'll go to one person. Just put your hands up and we'll just pass the mic around. Have we got the other mic, so this is what we're about. No, yeah, we're yeah? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right, let's go. So you can ask questions and then I'll set this mic around. Right. You, guys, you guys get it? Everyone get it? Word association? Yeah? Word association. Alright, yeah. someone over here said they get it. So my word that I'm gonna throw at you is desperate. Bum, 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 bum. Hold on, say that again. Weak. 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 Do you want to ask somebody over there? Ask a man. Celibacy. Not involved sexually. Not involved sexually. Not involved sexually. Not friends, is it? <laughs> Alright, so let me also explain to you some rules of the game. They're not supposed to be no thinking. No thinking. It's word association. Now, excuse me, mister. I'm coming to you later. Oh boy. Because if you hold on, you can give up hold on, hold on. Celibacy. I've got to, you gotta break that down. <laughs> he was like, well, I don't know that word. Alright, um another word. Uh not sure. <laughs> Come on, you, you. Uh, 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 no pause or hesitation. Not involved. I. Not involved. Not involved. Go on, it's your time. Trust. No. Oh, oh hold on. Joint bank account. <laughs> Don't matter. <laughs> bank account. Trust. Okay, it's funny when you use certain things. Go on, Leo. Let me pick up my next victim. Broken. Uh, oh, sorry. Ooh. You know what? Let me go to She's smooth. She's smooth. She's smooth. All right, you got that? Yeah, yeah. All right, polygamy. Choice. Choice. Mm. Easy. All right, don't do one. Just go over this one. Two more. Yeah. Okay. Single. Yeah. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not playing it safe. I like this. I like that. It's too safe. It's alright. It's warm up. It's all warm up. It's good. It's good. Mm, no. You know what? I can't see you, Queen. I can't see you. Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's speaking. Sound effect, EJ. Sound effect. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's naked. Yeah. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's real. So, that's the first icebreaker. Mm. Rio. So, oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me just tell you, you know when. Let me just do a disclosure. No, 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 don't, oh, do, you don't, do, don't, don't, don't. Okay, all right, go we don't need to disclose. All right, okay. J change. All right, go we don't need to disclose, innit? No, that's so. my pet name yeah, for you. Right. So, don't need to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our relationship. All right, yeah, all right yeah. so change, let's go. So, that was the word association. Do you want to do one more? Or do you want to do a question? I need to talk about questions. Let's do a question. Just one question. Shall we do two questions? Two questions. Two questions. Two questions. Right. right, so with this question, or with the questions that we're going to ask you, it's just simply by a show of hands up in the air. Do you want to ask the first question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, show of hands, right? How many people would not date someone who's unemployed? Show of hands. Be naked. You would not date someone who's unemployed. You're not a strong naked person over there. There's no no thing. You're not playing with it. Like, you're not earning, I can't work with you. Alright, that's real. Two. How many people? Only two people. Would not date You wouldn't date someone who's not who's unemployed. Yeah? Yeah, be proud with it, you know? There's, there's, there's no yeah. So three hands. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. So can we find out why? Can we find out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, let's go. Why? 
because I put myself on such a high pedestal and I've been working for since I got my NI number and to be honest, if you're the same age as me or a bit older than me and you ain't working, it's kind of like how are we going to grow together, how are we going to make plans? When we get to relationship, we get to relationships for the future, like hand in hand. Okay. Mm. Okay. She's entitled to that opinion. That's a good answer. Can I ask someone who said they would? Can I yes. Just, sorry, yeah. Can I just ask that lady? What is it that you met a guy last week? And after we made the junction. Like, oh no. Did you, did you hear her? Yeah. Let's let's give you the microphone. Let me come round. But you know what? We're, we're, the question is is to me how it is. The question is. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Sometimes. Someone might just come out. I know. Of so therefore, you can't really shut him down because of fact he's just been made redundant. Yeah. That's but then, then everyone will put it because it means it's going to be. I know what you're saying. I know what you're oh, saying. No. You're what? right. Sorry, yes, my yes, my queen. I think the question needs to be better phrased. Okay. Disrespect. No, no, it's not disrespect. Uh, if the person has been long time, long term unemployed yeah. and they're not under 25, right, mm -hmm. and they're looking for a relationship, that would be a concern. You guys are one group over here, yeah? 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 And whoever wants to, I need, I need a spokesperson so we don't turn too messy. A spokesperson on this side. One person who's going to speak to you guys on this side. A spokesperson. You guys are having a little discussion about one person going to speak. Yeah? Okay, great. On this side, spokesperson. One hand. Great. Yeah? We're just gonna take like two minutes on this. It's, it's not it's not a lot. Just everyone throw in whatever shows up as the common, you know, that's what you've got. Like, spokesperson for you guys. Everyone got this, yes? Spokesperson. Spokesperson. Alright, so this side and that side. Yeah. Okay. Basically, what we've thought of the general theme of our group is that it would still depend on the person. We would still want to get to know the person. Because some people are saying, like, you know, they the same reasons from over there, they might be unemployed, but then, you know, they haven't been unemployed for so long and they're still trying. My sister here, yeah. I was saying that, you know, everyone struggles. So, she cannot have any money, but he can feed her in a different way. Mm. Wow. So, whether it be spiritually, emotionally, you know, mentally, except mentally, you know. And 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 say your name, please. Leah. My name Leah. Leah. And my name's Benita. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I've got one more. But Sister Angie. Okay, my point was, if I was asked that question maybe ten years ago, I would have been like, nah, I'm not doing it. But I think. As you sort of start to understand what's going on, I think sometimes the, with our brothers, they don't always get given the chance to get a job just yeah. like that. And so sometimes it is harder for them. So I think we have to sometimes give the benefit of the doubt. And I think for me now, the question would be, the answer to that question now would be, I would consider it. Lovely, beautiful. I love that. Yeah, I relate to that. Round of applause for that team, yeah. Because we want to stretch this out. There's a few people from it from the side, so spokesperson and then two other valid points, yeah? I think the general consensus from this group was that we would, it's based on the circumstances. Hold on, hold on. Guys, can we have one voice please? Sorry, no disrespect. I want to make sure we're, we're present to this conversation, yeah? Go it's just kind of, it's based on the circumstances. Because like, as I said, someone can come out of uni from doing a master's and they haven't been employed. And just because at that minute they're not employed, you're going to be like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not going to date them. But then next week you can meet the same person and they've got like some next high earning job and you'll be like, oh, shame, I could have had that if I was patient for a week. Yeah. So I think it's just circumstances and time and, you know, but we, we would. This group. We would, yeah? Yeah. Um, I've actually been in that situation where I've dated a man who's been long term unemployed, very long term unemployed and of age. And um, he lost his confidence and his self esteem. And I'd like to say that I was, you know, influential in helping him to gain that again. And now, years later, he's got himself a good career, you know, and he's got himself a, a good job. And he's built himself, you know, with, well, I'd like to say the two of us have built him up. So I'd like to say that I think 
us as women can do far more than we realise and we should never shoot our men away because of that because as you already know it's very difficult to um, get ahead in this racist place, yeah? So. Nice, nice. That's, 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 no, yeah, mm -mm. yours, okay? So have a think about that. Have a think about that. <laughs> Remember, it's called the naked truth, and we're gonna get naked. Real naked. Real naked. And there's a few giveaways, you know, for the best participation. So just so you guys have something to, you know what I mean, work towards, I would say if you feel, you know, you've got an answer for this, don't. Wait for anyone else. Put your hand up. Hold it. Right. So watch this. Yeah. When I see someone side talking, yeah, yeah. it's only where I believe they've got something to say. They but I see, you, I see you looking at her sister going, yeah, yeah. 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 only for things to say. So, um, Kai Queen, what's your name? Say that again. Catherine. Catherine. Sorry, guys. Can we put... Yo, 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 ladies, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because now I'm coming to Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're only coming to ladies, but look at the men then. My brothers, yo. Hey, hey. Oh my God. I didn't even notice them, I just saw this. Let's keep one, one voice while, while someone's talking, please, yeah? I'm going to go to you. No, I'm not going to go to them, yeah? All right, so Catherine, what do you think about this topic? What, what, how does this relate to you? Um... I'm not sure right now, um, but I would say maybe communication. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just saying, when people tell me about maybe, can you maybe be pregnant? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> There's no maybe about it, you might go, oh, you wait. But I'm going to get back to you in a minute, Catherine, later, because I like that. And you know what, you know what, Catherine just came, so she didn't hear the house rules. We're not attacking you. No. Everything's about speaking in the eye. Yeah. Everything. And so everything is about if you're looking yeah. in general, we're gonna stick it on you. That's what my sister is just. She's cool, she can't, she, cool. she got a yeah. present. Yeah. So what you got to the guy? Yeah, the man they had a lot to yeah. say. Go, you go, you go. Oh no, 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 I too. Let the camera go. Let's see, bro, speak, please. Why, why is she staying with my mother? So, like, why is she staying with my mum? So, I would just say, and when I see certain of them ways in a woman, mm. and she can't answer herself because she wants to know me more than she knows herself, mm. so that's the way, that's where the problem is because I know myself, or if I don't know myself, I know what, what I don't want. Mm. So. That's I, what I, say. I like that I answer. To that, my okay, I saw Queen Ebony. I to that. Um, my main issue between the opposite sex. There's two. Can I have two? <laughs> Wait. Personally, I feel I don't like when a man tries to conquer me. I don't like that. So I find that quite often there's some conquering thing going on. And the second thing is um, they don't know how great they are. And it's like they're just used to being enabled. Instead of leading, they just want someone to lead them. And I find that it's not very pleasing or satisfying. Um, well, does anyone want to cross-reference that? Before we do that, um, can anyone, is there any more seats available? Because, you know, we're one family, I don't want my sisters on the stairs, you know? Yeah, I like that. There's one, there's one there. Um, there's another one there. Yeah. You want to bring that over there? You want to bring the sister? Alright, sorry. That's real, hope. Pick it up and change. Change is holding that mic. Did anybody want to cross-reference what 
sister Ebony said. Yeah, only, only if you have, only if you, you've got something that relates to it. You don't need to just say it just because we've given the option. If not, we keep it moving. So I'm gonna say the question one more time, yeah? yeah? Because I think it's only right. It's called Let's Get Naked, yeah? Naked. Naked. So from your experience, what do you feel your main issue between the opposite sex? So let's put because somebody just you know what? I've got this. This is why I've got to put my flats, you know. Straight. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would say my main issue, based on past experiences, is definitely I give too much, and I give too much of myself, and I trust people way too easily. So I'd definitely say that's one of them. And to relate to what you said, Ebony, I would say. Um, the strength in me makes men feel demasculated. But a real man, I believe, would just step up to the plate and just make me be the woman I need to be. Jeez, wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Elaborate on that, please. The car. The, 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 the what yeah, part would you like me to elaborate on? The, the strength in you! The strength in me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I will elaborate. The strength in me is I'm a single mother of two young men, so I've had to be strong. So, if you're going to come to me and be a boy, but acting like a man, I'm going to see it real quick. Bye, 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 Sometimes, you know, you have to pick sense out of nonsense. <laughs> and, no, my God, and nothing she said was nonsense to me. No, I know, I know, but all right, maybe I just thought that was. Did the man need that elaborated? Did that help or not? Was that needed, man? It helped, it helped. It helped. Come on, come on, don't be scared. The women ain't gonna attack us, you know. If you want us to, and, you know what, the main reason we're here, and, and like my, my boy Five just reminded us, you know, is. We have to be present to, there's a lot of issues going on in our, you know, relationships, right? And we're not discussing why there's so much beautiful single women out there, you know? And why... Shall I give an example? Some of the brothers, some of the brothers want to commit, and other brothers who, 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 who don't want to commit, there's reasons for that, do you me? Speak in the eye. <laughs> so, You don't know, but you lead by example in it, so you have to share a piece of your soul, just a little bit. So you're gonna share a little something. Real quick, real quick, because it's not about me, and I don't have the answers. But I'm saying. So here's the question to you then: From your experience, what do you feel your main issue is between the opposite sex? <laughs> You know the questions look so different now, isn't it? <laughs> it's easy to get me to read the questions, you know? Now I'm going to look at this from a whole other echo. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on. Alright, cool. For me, real talk, I'd say my issues in general with the opposite... issue is, is, is closer to home. So, with the lack of bond that I've got with my mum, you know, it's affecting how I am with women. And I don't mean lack of bond as in me and my mum, you know, I love my mum, but, you know, I see that. Yeah, I talk, yeah you feel me? Mm. So that can be a common thing for the man them in general, but I don't know how you guys take that, but that's my personal. Please don't make it about me, I'm just, I just share. Sorry. Okay. My God, my God, my God. Change. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. most black women who have a son, they might have daughters as well, but they will look after their son in a different way to that they look after their daughters. Do you understand what I mean? They see in their son that maybe their son is sensitive or their son is um, creative or whatever, whatever, mm. and that, and they will try and nurture that in him, especially if the father isn't around. Mm. They don't tend to worry about their daughters like that because the daughters tend to have enough different female role models around them 
to draw strength and be able to find themselves, but the boys tend to be lacking that because there's a lack of males in the family. So you said you love your mum, but but I don't understand the butt. So I don't want to uh, stick I, it on I, you, I, but I don't understand the butt genuinely. I, 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 bro, I've got you on this. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, like, yeah, got yeah, you, yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, do that. So yeah. some like you know when I turn around and I say we're gonna get naked. You see that butt? We're gonna we're gonna get naked on that butt later. How about that? Yeah. Because because right now, you see what he's talking about? He's saying, Mum, if you hear what he's saying, he's talking about a sensitive issue, you know? So it's really issue. So for him right now, in the spot, he's he's very yeah. he's like he's naked. You feel me? Yeah, but however, I'm with you in regards of it is about let's get naked, isn't it? So sissies want you to strip now. You know what I mean? No? You're definitely Sister Ebony's friend, you know. I can see it, I can see it. It's them facial expressions. I bet Ebony told her to ask her as well, didn't it? I went to something called ancestral healing a couple of months ago with my mum, my sister and myself. And um, it was... I didn't really want to go. My mum had been asking us to go for about two years to this thing. What it is is a bunch of people who don't know each other come together with a person who's trained to use the four elements to help you to connect with your ancestral line okay now some people who believe in this stuff don't but that's what you do so different people will come in with different things to do with their families and their ancestral line and obviously there's a there was a recurring theme of mothers fathers secrets um people not people being told that that's their father but maybe somehow they're not quite sure you know what i mean and that and the thing that came through for me most in relation to my father, because I could say the same thing, I love my father, but... <laughs> um, what's helping me with the but is realising that on a very deep fundamental level, mm -hmm. he will always be my father. That cannot change. Yes. Yeah? And I have to honour him mm -hmm. because he, he gave me life. However... The but sometimes come from the things that we want from our parents that they cannot give us. Teach. Do you understand what I mean? Like, they, they can't give us it because they either didn't learn it themselves. Teach. Do you understand what I mean? It wasn't shown to them and they've gotten to 54 or 45 or 100 or whatever parents may be. And, uh, and this was the best that they could do. Do you understand what I mean? So that's... You what, answered mine. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. yeah okay. I get you. Bless you. Teach. Yeah. Sis, sis, I know I'm coming to you next, but maybe this next question is where I come to you next, yeah? Please, sis, please, thank you. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm all tripping over and all sorts. Next question. Question two, and it's so funny, you're so in sync, because look at how the next question this fits. What reoccurring themes or habits keep on showing up in your past or present relationships? Mm. Let's see, I need you ready. Sis is ready. Hello everybody. Um, Hello. So I guess, yes, you're right. It really does link back to attachment. Attachment is about our parents. And so for myself, who didn't grow up with my dad, I am more comfortable with emotionally unavailable men. I am more comfortable that with that. And that, that does sad me. However, it is the true reality because I haven't been exposed to that masculine energy to know that he is reliable and dependable. So actually what happens in my intimate relationship, check my beer before Slide, you know? uh, but we have to use these situations to heal and move on. Okay? Okay. Sometimes I'm back with myself when I look and I think, Ross, what was going back along in the 90s? <laughs> Nevertheless, I've worked on it. So I am very much aware that I'm more comfortable with emotionally unavailable men. Does that make sense, yeah. sister? Who's been the side piece in here? I know no one's gonna wanna admit my that. God. Not you. My God. Sometimes, as the side piece, you can get better treatment than the 
Michael Blue. Michael Blue. Michael Blue. Now that's what we're talking about. What we say, let's get naked. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Now, change, change. I think it's only right. It's only right. I don't know if you agree with me. Go for it. But I'm, I'm a giver. Yeah. yeah? yeah I mean and I believe that when people come up and talk the truth, that was a perfect example. Naked. Yeah. Naked. Naked truth. So it's only right on. that we award that nakedness. Mm. So what we got in the goodie bag? Mm. We got something in the goodie bag. <laughs> we got, we got stuff in the goodie bag. What could she get something in the goodie bag? I don't know. Did I, I think it was naked? But I, 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 I do you agree? Do you agree? So I put change on the spot. We was talking about this last night, and he said, I said, I, I struggled with this question. I struggled. And he said, Oh, I know, I'm always the dumper. I was like, huh? I said, I, I said, I'm always the dumpy. Because I struggle with letting go. Like, like when I say I, I will sabotage, yeah, I will do all kinds of stuff to make you dump me. You know the ones? You can relate. Let me hear from you. Oh, <laughs> I don't like to eat. I've heard of them eggs. For me, it's like, if they want to come back, I don't I look right to you, you look right to me. If you dump me, that makes sense. So that's why I don't like to dump. Um, say that again. I prefer them to have to come back to me and play big games with them. So I want to be a dump. So be a dumpy. You like being dumpy. <laughs> Yeah, I hear that. I want you guys. What about the man? Who's a dumper in here? I'm not a proud dumper, but I'm a dumper. I'm a dumper. You're a dumper. I'm a dumper. You're a dumper, innit? And you know what? Just a little disclosure, you know? All my exes, I'm sorry. It's not personal. You know what I mean? No, because you end up dumping people, innit? Anyone else can relate to dumping? And you don't dump because you, you think you're better, you dump because All right. you deserve better. And you just asked, can anybody relate to dumping? Yeah. Can anybody relate if they're the ones that are the dumpy who, who, who really just stay in there? No, just me and Tioni. So the rest of oh, look, no, your hand's going up. I like, see what I'm saying? Don't bury your hands down. Like, straight, so it's gentle works. Like, yeah. I'm passing them, right? Yeah, come on, Tioni. So don't tell me. Talk to them, man. What's it like? What's it like for the ladies? They want to know what it's like for a man to be... Like, it says the habits you know what I mean? keep on showing up. Are you one of those ones like who keep on being the dumb pee, like? I've done... No, I've done uh, both. Okay. Um, but when I've been dumped, dependent on the girl and how quality she is, it's more painful. Do you understand? Like, mm -hmm. if you really wanted it to work and she says, you're just not the king for me, you're like, Lord of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> having said that, it's just as hard to dump somebody who you know you're the sort of big, sort of higher, whatever kind of position you want to put it on, because they're looking to you now as kind of like, oh yeah, you're the catch, you're the man, and trying to let them go sometimes is like trying to avoid <laughs> <laughs> hard work. I, I, I can relate, I was one of those too. Like, be naked, be better. I was much younger then. I was so much younger. I'm not gonna lie. I was an emotional wreck. I was like, I've all done that. I'm gonna slit my wrist. My wrists have never been slit. I'm talking about emotional blackmail. You understand? What? No, let's be real. What are the reoccurring habits that keep showing? Now it's past tense. That's what I was like. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not like that no more. But again, what um, as you changed said earlier on, and the sister here said earlier on. What's your name again? Lucita, beautiful name, said earlier on, and also Sister Keely at the back, yeah, Queen, yeah. The bottom line of it is, there's a fine line. You know that when you look at your parents? Yeah. So I'll be open and I'll be real. Mummy, my mum, I saw her a hard grafter, always being a worker, professional, career. 
then two twos, she's in a relationship. She's helping the man, she's building him up. She's doing everything, but the man's an ass. Yeah. You understand? And I'm like, raw tears, my mum's there working for this ass. Yeah, loving this ass. Like, and I'm like, right, like, my mum, like, she's scared of being lonely, you feel me? Like, that lonely, so I'm like, right, if there's a big fear about being lonely, I don't want to be lonely. Yeah. And that, that's something I took, you understand what I'm saying? So that's me just saying, that was a reoccurring thing happening. However, I changed that. Yes. You understand? Hey, so you that's understand. me sharing naked mm. truth. Yeah, that's real naked. You understand? You've changed it. What, what does that look like now in your life, in relationships? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, isn't it? You want to know? Yeah. Bottom line is I know who I be, who I am. You understand? I know what I want, and I just know that I know what love looks like to me. Mm. You understand? What I'm inside out. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, I think more often than not, for me, I know that I'm somebody who doesn't run away from me. I confront me on a day-to-day -day basis. That means yeah. I'm able to challenge me. If my friend or my sister turns around and says, P. Blah, 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 and tells me their observation, I'm going to listen to that, mm. yeah? Mm. Doesn't always mean I'm going to do, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? But I'm going to listen, you understand what I'm saying? And enhance myself. Mm. So that's me, that's work to do with me. So like my brother said there, yeah. you understand? If somebody is looking at a relationship more than they're looking at themselves, yeah. move along yes. and get out of there. Yes. So me, I'm just dealing with me and I don't take no, no whack attack guy mm. who is not in control, well, Who's insecure with yeah. himself? Yeah. Now I mean, without doing them free, like people ain't got no control. Mm. <laughs> She's still over there. She's got a point on that. You go over oh, there, yeah. then you go over there. Work, work, move it, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Jadisha. Um, yeah, what reoccurring themes have it? This kind of really resonates with me, so I thought let me pipe up and say that I'm on it, yeah? Because like that. what I recognised was, I thought it's about the energy we bring to the relationships and the thought process that you bring to the relationships, your fears, how secure you feel. And when, I, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on on the planet right now with, in terms of laws of attraction and spirituality and what you put in, you get back, asking it is given, yeah? So, what happened was I got pregnant and the relationship broke down. And I started to read some books and what came through was, are you going to take responsibility for this or are you just going to blame him? Because it was all about, oh, how could he leave me, you know, and da 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 da. But what, what was my contributing factors to the breakdown of my relationship? And I had to be honest. I feared him leaving me. I was worried about it. You understand? And I, I, I projected that energy into my situation. And also, my mum, she was a single mother. And I watched my mum raise two girls on her own and I didn't want that. What, what you resist persists, you understand? So I, it was, there was a lot of wake up calls there for me, but I think habits and patterns, you have to look to your parents, you have to look at your children, your real reflect, my real reflections are my mum, my dad, my children, and my choice in my life partner. Mm. That's what I've come to learn through my studies and through my life experience. And I tell you, when I, dis when I chose to be honest and take responsibility, mm. I was able to start healing yeah. the situation. And now me and my baby father are best friends. We're not together, but we're best friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Round of applause, right. man. That's real stuff. Put me in a position where I am today, where I can be in a healthy relationship and say, do you know what? I know my faults and I recognise that my partner might have his faults and I'm in a place where I'm like, do you know what, Tan? You've got to choose your battles, isn't it? Like, I'm not going to pick on little things about him to try and create arguments because I know there's certain things I'm just going to have to deal with if I want to be with this man, if I want to love this man. Do you know what I mean? So, I appreciate where you are today, but I just don't believe in my... And I could be wrong. I could be wrong, so I'm not arguing with you, but I just don't believe it's always been like that, is all I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? And that's it, and that's it.
because I've been through the shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've learned, I've made my mistakes. I've, yeah. I've seen my partner make mistakes and my past partners make mistakes. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And in today, in my truth, as a 30 plus year old woman, I can say I know who I am and I recognize who my partner is and so I can be happy. Do you know what I mean? But I had to get here. And I didn't know that when I was 20 plus. I didn't know that when I was in my teens. I didn't know that, do you know what I mean? I didn't know that before. I know that now. So today I can be happy. But before I didn't know that, and that's then that's what that is. Beautiful, thank you, thank you. Give thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's a proper talking. I want to hear a proper talk. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm sorry to kind of challenge your challenging the young man, but I come from a stable family. Like my mum and dad um, were, were married until my father passed away. So, I grew up in that kind of unique place of white picket fence, like, idyllic. So now I'm coming up into the game looking for a partner. I'm expecting her to have that same strength of mind to do the relationship thing with me because I'm modeling my, my ideology on my parents who come back from an older age group. Now, I've got that... I've got that model and I've got that mindset to say, you know what, if we argue, I know there's certain words that I'm never going to use to my girlfriend and there's certain words I never expect to hear coming from her mouth. And it's not even like a swear word, I'm talking about silly little things like, get out of my house. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Yeah, I've heard that. That's why, that's why I use that. I'm coming from the, the perspective of I. Right. So when I hear that, I sort of try to say, listen, I put my baby to sleep. We're just having a little disagreement and I've got to stay somewhere. So how can you tell me to get out of your house just because we're not actually at that stage moment where it's mortgage and all the rest of it? So my kind of... Um, Learning curve is twofold. I can't replicate the perfection of what I grew up in because there's a, a likelihood that the other person hasn't grown up with that blueprint. So that blueprint is gonna be malfunctioning compared to my examples because I can see my mom and dad argue, and I used to say this to them as a kid. I said, oh, you're arguing one minute, and the next minute, they're ki 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 laughing up and, and lovey dovey and I'd, be, I'd walk past and just be going, chug, them again. <laughs> now I'm expecting to do that with my queen, but my queen said, are you, are you? And I'm like, no, 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 you don't talk to me like that. And then you've got that battle which is, which is tiresome. So in terms of um, it being a possibility, it's a possibility but it's negative because we're growing up in a different age and time. So and with a different kind of blueprint. So unless we start to give a little and take a little, you know what I mean? Because I can yeah. say to you, look, I know why you're acting, or I can think, I know why you're acting messed up because your blueprint is messed up. Yeah. Even though I love you as an individual, yeah. I can see that some of them little nasty behaviors is coming down from yeah. what you grew up in. So it, it, it is possible to have that have that opinion where the, the guy's like, because you're going for perfection. So that could be the mistake if, he's, if you want to put it that way, is um, I'm looking for the perfect kind of relationship of, of respect. So, you know, it is possible, but then again, I think it takes either side to kind of look at themselves and say, what's malfunctioning in me that allows me to grow and also perhaps identify the right person rather than trying to work and change somebody who's not quite ready because i think that's that's the issue you try to change people that aren't on your level and you've got to find your level first okay so sorry, sorry sis 
<laughs> one moment, yeah, we're going to go to question number three. It was beautiful, but I like the way everybody's starting to understand. We just pass, we keep it flowing. You understand? And we just get naked. Yeah, we're getting naked. Isn't so it? this this one here. Yeah, we're getting naked. Yeah, we're getting naked. Who's I'm feeling like, like they, 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 they're starting they're comfortable? Just, Who's yeah. in their comfort zone? Who's yeah. taking up a layer, at least one layer? One, at least one. Come on. Or a little shoulder. Tim, you have, yeah. yeah. We are here with a five star general. Love this brother. Look, you're often going to see him on his platform because we've just got a relationship where, yeah, we can work in it. This man's on his grind, but I always have to say this the man rolls with a team, innit? Like, he's got a proper strong team. And I think it was an ICANN event where Julian Hall was doing a thing and saying, look, you're as strong as your team. And this man's got a powerful team. But as a visionary, as uh, the, 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 the name is love is just a verb and that is just a real thing if you see us bubbling here because right downstairs right now the dance is all in full swing it's a junglist thing that's my do you know now what look look look, yeah, look, look. Yeah, let me just, right, let me just get into the team yeah. so we can get downstairs so look today was off the hook mm. it was ram out down there the interact like i couldn't even get down there but the the crowd participation the whoop 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 the oh my god the whole thing was going on down there how do you feel one year on <clears throat> amazing no serious amazing and you can see the growth the growth is happening not only with the participation of the audience but the amount of men that was in the room today do you know this all started because of man them not stepping up to fulfill certain responsibilities this event only happened because we was having conversation with certain empresses and they're complaining that there are no men to look after them or to support them. Therefore, they're trapped in a job looking after their child and they can't do anything else because they're trapped. All of this happened because of that, because of the lack of men, you know. And when we put the call in, the sisters turned up. They didn't hesitate. They kicked down the door and they fully participated. And the men have been, you know, slowly coming on board. But for us, it's all about us being able to have that dialogue, that conversation. We don't talk about the real things, and you know that. Yeah, yeah. We can sit there, we can talk about the stars, we can talk about the quarks and the, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the... The, the broke down to the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can break all that down, do you know what I mean? But when it comes down to relationships in your house, people run. And that's why we called it The Naked Truth. Because we have to start being, you know, to be truthful with yourself, you have to be honest with yourself. To be honest, you have to be willing to get naked, innit? And that's what we're here to do. Once we've got a strong male and female, man and woman, yes, King. The rest is a wrap. Serious. And that's what the beasts don't want. They don't want us to have a strong family. We want us to have strong families, point blank. And, I mean, the people know you as a man, like, that inner journey is such an important aspect. You get me? Because to have that, that nakedness between a male and female, you have to take that inner journey. You have to be able to strip back. And this is where, in my observations and my own journey through life and interacting with people, I can come across people who can block down left, right and centre information. But when you get to the core of you, of you taking that personal inner journey to address the nature of the being that you are, so that you don't proclaim to be something, you're, you are that something by way of that introspection where you don't proclaim it, people outside of you claim it, the tunes are just getting harder and harder. Um, but how does that... This is Dwayne here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dwayne, you know what we're talking about. I Mr. Can, Patrick, baby. I can, you don't know, you know what I mean, but producer. Well, but um, that, in, that inner journey vibration is, an, is such an imperative must. And, you know, this is something which, you know, some people be looking and thinking, oh, why are you addressing these issues? We've got so much bigger issues as black people on our table, but you're just coming in on this. But as you said, the necessity of this and what is the objective it producing? Because, you know, you work with young people. How do you think that will impact or make a change in young people's lives? So again, when I was mentioning earlier about we did this because of, uh, you know, the men and what the men are not doing, really, it's because of the young people as well. Because when I work with the young people and you listen to their stories, it's always to do with their mum and their dad. Their dad did this or their dad didn't do this. Their mum did this or their mum again in a home is fractured and again these homes are bringing or giving birth to children that are ready to burn down this village they are ready 
Do you understand what I'm saying? They've got that rage in them. So really, once a, once a male or the king and the queen come together and can resolve their issues, then we can start bringing forth, you know, the children who, you know, who deserve to be, you know, loved in this environment, you know? Well, I must, I must be honest with this man. This man is the love man when it comes to that. This is his sole fo focus, his sole purpose. And it's just always been, you know, a part of him. So it's an honor to be working with him. But not only that, you know, the members of his team are a reflection of his character in it, that them like energies have come together. And that's why, you know, here at HMPT, we've got 100% time all day long, 110% time to roll with whatever we can build, create, to make a difference in our communities. And, you know, we're just here at that disposal, in it. And this event here, the Naked Truth, uh, just very quickly before we move on, the weekend, the weekend thing that we got popping up, just give, give our people a little bit of information on why they need to be at that, at that spot. Yeah, so again, whether we go to certain meetings, functions, conferences, it always becomes a time where there's a climax and then you have to go home because you don't own the venue or you don't own the building. And that conversation just gets lost. It becomes a memory. We want to try and extend that conversation so you don't have to go home, you know. That's why we said, you know what, let's do something that we're doing now, like the Naked Truth, but do it in a hotel, you know. Not only have that extended dialogue, but also I'm tired of only seeing people dress up good when they're going to a funeral. You understand what I'm saying? You know, some of my band them, I've only seen them wear trainers and jeans. I've never seen them in a suit unless it's a funeral. I want to see them dress up, yeah, and present themselves to the empresses and say, yes, this is the better version of myself. Obviously, clothes don't make you in it, so don't get it twisted. But it's about us being versatile enough. You understand? Why don't we up our game? Let's meet the empresses, because the empresses are only always turning up. This hotel, free course meal, let's catch joke, let's have certain exercises, let's listen to music, and then when 12, 1, 2 o'clock come, let's go to another place, whether it's someone's hotel room, we sit there and we reason, and we really put solutions in place. Because my solution is not your solution. People say, let's talk about solutions, like, that's a myth, isn't it? It's like talking about love, you know? Your solution relates to you and your situation, you know? Just like with myself. But people get robbed of the solution because they're talking about the solution is education. My solution is not education. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it might be something deeper than that. Yeah, yeah. So we have to start getting real and having that kind of discussion. So let's change the environment totally. So yeah, the naked truth is like, that's where all of us are going to. And it's going to be off the top, off the hook, man. It's definitely going to be off the hook. If there's anything like what's popping here today, like, I, I don't know what to say. Like I'm up here, it's, it's Full steam ahead downstairs. The junglist is moving. I'm, I was a junglist man still. You get me? Tell you, I, I want to go down there. I want to move up the DJ across and yeah. drop two mix on mine still. But uh, hey, that, yeah, 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 but I mean that junglist, you know what I mean? So I run with two dance just like this uh, back in the day. But it, it's a new day today. But you know, that, that energy is still there in it. And that's what I love about this event. At the end of it, the vibes, the niceness, everyone comes together. It's done in a loving thing. It's not like a, 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 a ganja cobbing up thing. It's just a nice vibe and then everyone just goes home. Lovely. Look, the naked truth. Make sure you get involved, get naked with these mans here. And look out for all the other things they got popping because it's just live. HMP TV. Bam. 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 HMT. HMP TV. Higher mental power. Helping. B. Helping my people. Pop. Thank mm -hmm. you.